Good evening, everyone. I would like to introduce myself first. Um, if you have been listening to the um, master's classes recently, um, my name is Wendy Vaughn, and my claim to fame is being the first uh, student of Pastor Nina. Um, I'd like to share with you how the last year has been like, full of WKs, full of challenges, and how the Lord um, trained me so that I can be ready for the triumph of uh, receiving um, the reality of the promised WK. So let me start by saying, um, if somebody would have asked me um, how I was doing, I would have honestly said, good, fine, um, life is good, because life was good. I was content, I was happy. But uh, about the end of the year, last year, um, I received a visionary WK from LGI, and um, it confirmed something that has been going on in my heart. I was starting to feel restless, um, bored, um, but I couldn't figure out what it was. Um, and I called LGI, and they said um, that I was ready for the next step of uh, my um, my role um, and I should be praying for a promotion. So I did. Um, I started um, really thinking of um, quitting my job. However, um, it, there was no reason to. So I kind of put that um, WK on the side, but at the same time, I had this uh, an E in my heart. Um, so uh, it's around January, um, my performance evaluation got due and it was horrible. It was embarrassing. It was, uh, uh, it, it was the worst evaluation I have ever received in my entire life in my organization after 11 years. So I called Pastor Nina and the LGI team again, and I wanted to fight the, the wrong. And I was wronged and I wanted to get a lawyer. And um, I was angry, I was very angry. Um, and I wanted to get justice. Um, so the same time I'd been applying for jobs and the jobs would get in interviews, but then it would be put on hold. In fact, I found my dream job at, um, in a big hospital in LA. They interviewed me five times, only to be told at the end um, in March um, that they were putting their position on hold. So I was very, getting very depressed and wasn't happy in my job anymore um, that I applied for a stress leave. Um, I applied. March the 5th, and by March the 15th, the COVID lockdown happened. Um, so in retrospect, I was protected from being um, actively working when uh, the first wave of um, COVID actually happened in San Diego. Um, However, the leave just made me more depressed. I was gone for five months. I had medical appointments. My blood pressure was up. They had to put me on um, another second blood pressure medication. Um, I had severe pain um, in my back and my low back. Um, and I needed to get an MRI done to make sure that there was no nerve that was being impinged. Um, at a certain point, um, I was actually on the floor and could not get up. It was a paralyzing pain. Um, I had to be taken to the urgent care because I couldn't even stand straight up, um, much less walk. Um, so my stress was creating physical symptoms. And as each day went by, um, my self-esteem just really started going down. Um, so I decided to go back uh, to work 
uh, July 1st. And um, I thought work would um, get better. Um, the WKs kept um, confirming that God's plan was going to happen regardless of my circumstances. But honestly, I wasn't very sure. Um, a whole month had passed at work and I was just miserable again. By um, the end of the month, I went on leave again because my back pain started coming back. And uh, this time I needed to see a pain specialist. Um, but while waiting for uh, my insurance to actually um, approve for a lumbar epidural spinal uh, steroid injection, I started attending um, Ademinus classes, Pastor Lisa, um, Dr. Lisa. Um, uh, the thing I actually was instrumental in telling me, why don't you attend the Zoom classes? So I first attended the uh, master's class and I felt like heaven opened and just poured. It was a heavy downpour of um, just poured of God. It, it filled that emptiness, that deep ache that um, was in my heart and it removed my deep-seated anger for, um, for the people that were causing me pain and um, every class that I could attend I did in spite of the time difference. Um, I started attending FDM with uh, Pastor Chris. I attended Windwatch um, which was three in the morning here um, I attended Night Watch in every class that I could possibly attend. Um, and little by little, um, it started falling into place. One of the WKs um, from Pastor Nina said that I should go deeper in my relationship with the Lord. And as I actually went through one of the investors' classes, uh, title was Going Deeper. It was exactly what I was looking for. Um, I was being trained by the Lord spiritually. Um, the Bible says that the word, the, the Bible um, scriptures are profitable or useful for training in righteousness. And that was the missing link. The, the Lord really needed to work on my heart. It was full of anger. Um, and anger turned inwards, became depression, and the depression started giving me a physical pain. Um, so as each one of those started getting dealt with, um, Pastor Mina's um, team also uh, gave me a WK that once my heart was right with the Lord, that um, the hospitals would actually be the one calling me for interviews. And so they came. Um, by um, beginning of August, um, I had one offer after the other to a point where I had five uh, job offers at one point, but four of them were manager positions. And um, one of the um, conversations I had with Pastor Chris to ask the Lord for um, which one, which, which job um, does the Lord want me to take? And, um, the big picture was the Lord was giving me a free hand. Um, any one of those offers would be okay. So I started asking the Lord, um, you see my heart and, and what I really, really want is to um, be promoted to a director position, just like Pastor Fuki said. I have mastered the skills of, of being a manager for 11 years, and I was ready to, to get promoted. And true enough, uh, as of um, a week ago, I finally, um, after the long and winding road of five interviews and five job offers, I got my dream job, and I'm supposed to start on a Monday. Um, Monday, November the 16th. So the Lord saw me through 
in triumph and and it was not a small triumph it was a big triumph because it was the word of the lord going back to him and he promised that his word will never come back to him without accomplishing his purpose so i stand before you um being a result of effort prayer of being um, in the community of lgi um, and i've been learning so many things in, in all of the classes that i've been attending so don't be absent in any of the classes and one of the other uh, things that i personally experienced recently was angelic uh, manifestation angelic manifestation um i was always um faster than this experiment so i followed her instructions and lo and behold um my partner was Mamet and I just followed the instruction that said call the angel and, and ask the angel to show himself to you and ask for their name. Um and slowly there's in the back uh, background she had that Manet had a white background and um the there was a charcoal drawing coming forming with like a cloud, like a big afro hair. And then the eyes started showing up, and then the mouth was really um, in the round uh, formation, like it was blowing air, like it was the wind coming through this angel's mouth. And I saw Monette's hair, she had long hair, and it started blowing the wind. And then another angel started coming through like another drawing behind her. And this time I could only see the eyes because the face was covered um, kind of like a face mask. And, and so she had two angels that were um, behind her. And it was amazing. Um, again, it was a demonstration of supernatural um, beings being with us. Um, in conclusion, I wanted to testify that the Lord is doing something new. He, there is no formula. There is uh, no repeats. Um, he wants to show us something new every day. Um, I'd like to share a saying. It, if you've heard of this, it says, God whispers to us in our pleasures. He speaks to us in our conscience but shouts to us in our pain. It is his megaphone to rouse a deaf world. Um, I was distracted for a while um, because I was so angry and depressed and in pain that I couldn't totally look up in clean and war and pray and believe um, the W case that was shared with me. So if you have a W K and it's not happened yet, maybe it's a matter of your heart, because I know it was a matter of my heart. And once I finished God's training for me, when I was ready, um, He released and opened the windows of heaven. And not only that, He gave me what I wanted. So praise God for um, all of you who helped me pray through, and um, I hope you get your blessing from an open heaven as well. Thank you for letting me share. Good night. יברכך אדוני וישמרך, יאר אדוני פניו אליך ויחונקה, יישא אדוני פניו אליך וישם לך שלום. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace.